Hey there, uh, I'm gonna tell you what I'm building and why I'm doing it. Um, I'm building a, not really a sunroom. Uh, it's technically probably a trombe floor, uh, which is, uh, Felix Trombe was a, uh, I guess an architect that came up with a design for capturing heat behind a glazing. And what I'm doing is I'm putting a double layer of brick floor on top of insulation. And then I'm gonna have some polycarbonate sheets right here. Um, why am I doing this? Well, because I've got a house here in New Mexico that has a lot of sunny days in the winter and only really two, well, there's three, but that one's shaded by a tree over there. But so they have say, two tiny windows right here on the south side of the building, which is complete um, waste of, of energy. Um, when you consider that it's sunny in New Mexico in the winter, probably 90% of the time. So we live in a rural area and um, not far from a city, probably only 20 minutes. But nevertheless, the way we heat the house here is propane tank, hot water and a furnace are powered by this guy. This holds 250 gallons of propane, probably costs almost $400 to fill. And the previous owner used to fill three times a year. I just could give you an idea of the cost. They were probably spending about a hundred bucks a month. Since we bought the place, we put a pellet stove in and that's reduced the use of propane. So now we're only filling this once a year, but it's kind of, I think we could do better. And that's why we're doing this, uh, this project. So what I've done here is I have put sandwich of insulation on top of plastic and I have about an inch and a half of this uh, closed cell insulation and then two layers of bricks on top and the reason for that is to absorb as much of the heat during the day as possible. Um, I have painted these bricks right here these were bricks that I found on Craigslist and I've dyed them a slightly darker color which actually came out pretty nice I think and all day long, um, these polycarbonate sheets right here, they're gonna be used on here. And so that's gonna give me a good solar mass that I'm gonna be storing heat during the day. And I'm gonna put a fan right here to suck air in during the day, which will probably get shut off at night. I'll probably have a thermostat on that. And that will actually if my theory is correct, it's going to increase the square footage of this window from whatever that is to 12 feet by 14 feet. So that should make a significant difference in um, in heat absorption in the day when the when the sun's out. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be going from filling the tank once a year to maybe once every other year or maybe even less. We'll see how this does. Um, you might have noticed that I have not filled these edges in here. Normally you cut bricks in half to fill in these gaps right here, because this is not a sunroom that you're gonna occupy. Um, we may put some plants in here, but that's, that's pretty much not gonna be livable space. This is purely to absorb and store heat. Um, if this works as well as I hope and proves this theory right, if this Felix Trombe guy, T-R-O-M-B-E, uh, if Felix Trombe is correct and this is worth the effort, I'm going to build a much bigger sunroom uh, to fill in this area here. You actually really can't see it, but I've put in the wall around as a retaining wall. Uh, to build a much bigger sunroom right here. If this is correct, if this works, I'm gonna go go make this a livable space. So it'll be capturing heat, storing it for the night and and a bigger room for us to use. So we'll see how this does. Um, this is the construction video. And once it's done, I'll do another video. The temperature, I have this little temperature gauge I can use. Um, that I can, uh, so I'll post the, the how it's performing during the day and how it's performing at night. And if it works well, and maybe next year, if uh, conditions permit um, and budget, of course, uh, I'll build a bigger sunroom.